let's paint this beautiful rustic building and street from a small town called Maheshwar in central India. Maheshwar is a town full of temples and such rustic buildings. I am going to use acrylic paints to paint a loose painting using palette knives. I will add some touch up at the end using a black brush pen. I am painting on a Stillman and Bin beige tone paper. As you can see here, I am using thick acrylic paint to spread color around onto the paper. I am also keeping some blank space around the main painting to create an uneven outline. For the sky, I had used broad patches of paint. For the foliage, I am using smaller patches of light green and black paint. Watch how I am creating a rough texture over the grey wall simply using a thick paint. This is the beauty of acrylic paints. You can use them in thin manner like watercolor or use them like this to create such impasto effects. Mixing some white to the grey wall further enhances the texture effect. I mix some blue paint with white to create this color for the wall and the doorway which is the main subject of this painting. I wanted this doorway to dominate the viewers attention. So I focus the most on keeping this area in clear focus. Add some more blue to the front side of the walls so they are darkened a bit. This creates a depth in painting. I added some more blue to the internal parts of the doorway to indicate that they are further into the shadows. For the stairs, I mixed a little brown paint to separate the top part of the steps from their front facing parts. Fill out the front facing parts of the steps using the light blue paint. Observe how I am avoiding painting over the dark parts of the steps. Add some dark values to the side part of the wall. I use brown and black paint to create these dark values. Adding some ochre yellow to the walls along with brown, black and white paint will create this old weathered effect to show on the walls. For the pinkish walls, I use the skin color pigment acrylic paint. If you do not have such paint, you may mix a little red and yellow and a lot of white to create such skin color or pinkish color. Of course, I added some ochre yellow and gray to create this weathered paint effect. Use yellow, red and black to paint these barrels kept on the stairs. For the buildings past the blue building, we will not paint many details as these buildings are receding into the background. Instead, we will paint some faint indication of doors and windows using darker values.
For the street, I used the same pinkish paint creating rough texture lines. I mixed a little brown to create additional textures. Adding some human figures to a painting adds a sense of scale and liveliness to the painting. You don't need to be too precise about these figures. After all the painting process was completed and the paint dried, I used a black brush pen to tidy up the edges of various objects in the painting. After completing, this is how the painting looks. If you like this video, consider subscribing to this channel and pressing the bell icon to receive notifications whenever I upload a new video. Happy painting!